All right, guys, so here we're going to rig an animal, a dog, wolf, man, dude, person. As you can see, we have an example here of how the leg's broken down. We have the hips, we have the uh, elbow, we have the carpal joint, and finally we have like the swivel little area for the paw and the foot, and you can actually kind of see it in motion here, all of them together. There we have the uh, hip area, or the shoulder in this case, elbow, a carpal, and then we have the twos. Now the way the dog walks, it kind of walks on his toes. And um, there are some similarities um, to the human form, and that's basically just how this area is set up. Well, you'll see the padding, this would be our heel. But in his case, this is going to be kind of an extension of his ankle taken to his paw. So it's almost like he's walking uh, more um, on the padding of his feet. And we call it our heel so it's a little bit different but you can see in relation the only reason I'm pointing that out you can see where the uh, the small similarities are connected where we have it from the shoulder and then we would connect our um, IK right here at the bottom this allows us to bend this joint still and still be able to do that push off now if you want to switch it and be able to move his paw, you can also switch the use the IKFK switch. For the most part, he'll be running, but you know, there will be moments when dog rolls over, you want to rub his belly, you can switch your IKFK switch off and go into FK mode to move his little uh, little paw here. All right, uh, ignore the disgusting, grotesque images above. I don't know why they showed up, but you never know what you're gonna get in the internet. So what I did was grab this model, and some of you guys saw this in class. I, I, I I give you guys a bunch of links to stuff. This is one of the models from a free website or whatever. Um, what you can do when you have pieces you want to get rid of, just go in here and you can just uh, separate. And then you can grab what you don't need. In this case, we don't need little alphas. He's got a bunch of little alphas on him that aren't connected to a particular texture. Probably just sorted weird. That happens with Maya when you get something out of a game engine. I think this particular guy was a hack. Somebody got into a game engine and extracted him. Now remember, if you're going to do that, if you're going to get your hands on these, use them only for animation purposes and give the props to whatever game or company it is. And just be careful of that. I mean, just keep it on your website. Don't start giving it to everybody. And I do have some issues with that. I mean, models are free and it's good to reverse engineer. And sometimes you don't have a modeler nearby you and you can just grab somebody else's model and work with it. But uh, if people have worked hard on a game, just be careful with that. Um, don't even try to pass it off as your work. It's bad taste and bad form, and the industry is too small for that crap. All right, so let's go in here and combine him. So we're going to use him for demo purposes here. So with him combined, combounded, that's a word I just made up. It's fancy. Let's go and delete by type history on this guy real quick. And notice I have my polygons on here because with him bound, and again, I'm going to ignore the teeth and mouth right now. Typically you would actually make these teeth separate and the eye separate. I'm going to ignore them for this exercise because it's not exciting for me to pick each one of those. I know you're not holding your breath for that. So we're going to go in here and go to vertices. Grab all our vertices. Now what we're going to do also, let's go to our uh, display polygons, custom polygon display. Now I can go straight to here but I'd like to go straight into the menu so I can control how things look. We're going to turn on border edges and we're going to hit apply. This will show us where the areas aren't welded. So if you know the points are on, right on top of each other, what you can do is see these, activate these thick edges, which you saw me just do, and then we can merge using our default merge settings here. And say merge, and you'll see those thick lines. See that just went away. So now he's welded together and ready to be rigged. Obviously the teeth and the eyes are welded, but you'll have to handle that on your own. All right, so let's go back into this guy here. So we've got them all set up, ready to go. Let's actually look at his silhouette and how we can go about applying this to a dog creature. Now we went over <coughs> how to create a spline IK. So we go to the hips. Whoa, too big, control Z. Let me control my uh, joint size real quick. And we'll lower that just a tad. I didn't realize he's so tiny. He's such a little wolf. We got the uh, hips here, and we'll go to the next one here. We'll go here, and he's fairly low poly, so he's not going to be a lot here to lay out. And we'll go, let's say, one more. The next a little weird with the geo, and uh, edit it at your own 
risk, make sure you do not try to take credit for this model and use it only for demonstration purposes. We go to our uh, area right in here. We can actually put a bone here like for the ears. Go straight to the head and we can make a one joint here for the eyeballs and let me hit enter and then we can make another set of joints here for the jaw so we got the hinge so notice we got the spine and the jaw now when we make our <coughs> our spline I came remember you go one away from the root you want to stay away from that which you saw in an earlier video um, and for reference purposes I'll just make one more here so that the tail can be made oh heck I'll just do the tail big hairy deal probably could be split up a little bit more some more geo this is all based on someone's pipeline so this can change uh, depending on the scenario all right so we got this here he's all laid out and I put my spine a little bit closer to the top here you can lower it down a little bit and towards the middle of the body that's fine it sh doesn't really matter where you put it as long as it's in the geo and as long as you paint the correct coordinates uh, Maya's bones are made to be put anywhere it's mainly so that it's inside of its body and that you paint the weights accordingly all right so um let me see here why is not stupid uh, it can handle a little distance on some things so i'm going to go in here and uh, make our legs i'll do this separate of connecting just yet so i'm going to make one for the shoulder which you saw and you'll notice again i want to point this out you see the shoulder then we have the elbow you don't want to forget that and some people overlook that so we have our elbow here which is a little high in the body then we have our carpal joint here and then finally we have our like his little wrist area where his toes are connected right there I hit enter so that's pretty much how setting that up is to work now we're gonna make sure that it's placed in the right spot so let's do x-ray joints we hit the W key move that over there we go move it over a little bit more awesome and then now what I'm going to do um, if I want a little bit more extra movement, a little bit more um, deformation on this guy, you'll notice, if you look, we have a shoulder joint, and he has a scapula. So dogs have this, and they, you can see it when a dog's mad and he's ready to rip your throat out. He rears up his shoulders, and a tough of fur will actually pop up. So what we can do to highlight this, to get this, and if it, the model's built for this, and this guy's actually built for it, it's a little bit weird here in the neck, but we can go in here, <clears throat> make another separate joint on this guy. We'll do it in the front view. I'm gonna go to the joint tool by himself. Put one more joint right here, right above this guy. Make sure I put him in the right spot. The W key. Move him over. Hard to see, I know. So let me turn turn wireframe on shaded off for a moment. And uh We'll have this guy set up in here. So what we'll do is I'll grab this guy, shift select here, and hit P to parent that. And we can use this guy as a scapula bone. Like we can move it around. Let me actually control Z for a second. I'm going to uh, control Z one more time. I'm going to move him over. So let me grab him a little bit. Move him all over. So we get a little shoulder push off there. So notice it's lining up with the geo nicely. So I'm going to grab this guy, shift select this guy, and hit P. There we go. So we now have a little scapula we can move around on him. And then we'll grab the final one, grab here, and hit P. So we go in here and see they're all connected. So if we click on it, you can see have it all connected. So grab, finally grab this leg here, and then we're going to go and do our mirror joints. Let's switch to animation. You can also click on the icons for it. And we'll just go in here and just say mirror joint it should go across based on our previous settings which you saw another video on so we have this here all set up which is actually kind of nice you can even build your IK ahead of time if you have your IK built ahead of time sometimes mine will be nice and bring it across you still need to double check that because that doesn't always work <clears throat> if you make your groups later on we'll talk about automation we can make your own groups using a Python script but in, in this case you'll uh, if you're doing it from raw from scratch you have to build ahead of time oh looks like we have a problem we are not lined up perfectly so let's get our stuff lined up a little bit more there there we go and I'm not requiring that you guys do all the individual toes 
unless you're using that really cartoony dog model, which I gave you. And we're going here, made by Jana Johnson, one of my former students who works at Zynga. She is awesome. Give you props, Jana. Keep that in mind when you're rich, man. All right, so we go up here, joint. Oh, got to make sure uh, I got the right settings here. Control Z. Make sure I have the right bone selected too. So there we go. Go up on the scapula to do it. And we go to mirror joint and it goes across nicely. There we go. So it's all set up there. So let's do the IK real quick. So I want to make sure we move on to the uh, more advanced quadruped guy. So we'll grab the shoulder and we can take this all the way down to this guy right here. Now the advantage of doing that, holy crap, we have huge uh, IKs. So let's go and change that real quick. Um, let's go to IK handle size. Over that. That's what she said. All right, go and got this here. Sorry, junior high. So we're gonna move this up, and you can see we get like a nice bend, but you also see we also get an irregular movement on some parts of this leg. Now, what we can do, the nice thing about having the IK all the way through, you can still animate some of these parts on this guy. You can move this leg the way that you want. Be careful not to break it. So we can still move the leg how we want, and it will still nicely um, shape our movement, like you can actually do a run cycle with it. But you've got to be careful, because if it goes too far out, or if you go too far, you can actually flip it, so you've got to be careful how that works. And you can turn the IKFK switch off, but remember, if he's running, you want that IK on to push off on a surface. You want to make it believable, and you can test this out on your Geo based on the anatomy that you're looking at for your dog. And this rotation will get harder when you're IK mode and you start keyframing. So what you can do to get that rotation, you can turn off your IK FK here under your enabler. And when you turn it off, you're able to rotate this and you can blend it by going back into here and you can do set IK to FK key. Now for some of the beginning rigging class, you'll learn that later for those in the farther along in the beginning reading class you will understand because you've watched that video from VMO which I show you how to make a switch so let's do the back hinder legs real quick so what we can do we can actually connect our hind legs to this root and that will actually give us a little bit of an anchor if we want so let's go and make those hind legs you can make it separate from the root if you want to, but just keep in mind when you lower that root, those hind legs are going to go. So there is some animation benefit to it. Um, a lot of this is just how dynamic and how much movement you want from your character or animal, I should say in this case. All right, so let's go to our side view. So let's go and make our <coughs> joint here. There's our knee. Now if we look really quickly, go back into um, the webs. Ignore the decapitated animals. You also have the hip joint, the knee joint, and then we have a tarsal joint here. And then we have the finally the, um, the paw, and then we have the toes. So what we can do is click here, click here, click here, and then finally do the toes. And you can see we've built our leg. We've pretty much built it like the structure we just saw. So let me go and move it over because it always kind of does it in the middle. He kind of came in the middle because he came straight from a game. I didn't steal him. I'm just using for examples. Please don't get mad at me. He's a beautiful model. All right, so we got them all set up here. Now we can go in here and do IKs. And I can click on the hip and I can go from here to the same spot as before and go straight to the kind of, in this case, it's kind of like his ankle in a way. And this allows us again to raise it up and you'll notice it moves really nice and it moves a little bit better than our front one just for the fact just the way that it's got in a Z pattern now if you wanted you can highlight the position of these joints to get a little bit better movement but overall this guy will move like a paw because you can rotate the toe at the same time and still get that kind of grip action and still get that movement so you can see they move they actually do move pretty well we're just missing some of that extra rotation to get that going all right so again uh, we can make a little scapula now it doesn't he doesn't really have a scapula back here but if you want a little bit of hip movement because it does occur we can actually put one in here for like almost like doggy hips that's right i said doggy hips and we can do so and you'll notice we have a root 
and then we have our hips back here so what we can do if we want a little extra movement so it's not dependent upon the root because a lot of times old school games will actually have the root and then that'll be the hips because what anchors it is the IK as it gets animated but what we can do if we wanted to cheat a little bit so that when he wags his tail he gets a little hip movement I can make another joint we'll do it from the side here we do we'll have to adjust it I can make another joint like uh, I'll just do it over here my selection on my mouse is kind of retarded um, I mean not working right I mean need some help um, we'll go over here try to be politically correct shut up we'll go over here and we'll move this right in this area and uh, this will be our dog butt bone or butt hips I guess you could say and we're gonna grab this shift select this guy and hit P once that's set up, I'm now going to go over here, grab this guy, which is not connected to the root, and hit P. And you'll see we have a nice anchor point here, and we can move this if we wanted to. And we can also rotate this. So when he's wagging his tail and my IKs are keyed, it'll actually wiggle the butt. Now, what I mean by IK is keyed, let's make this sticky for a moment. And a lot of times, sticky is just for anchoring, but you can also imitate. An IK system that has keys on it. So let's go in here. Oh, let me. It's up here in the solver. Return stickiness on. And let's go in here and grab this guy. And we're going to mirror joint on the other side. Got one here. Got one here. We should have the IK go across. Let's see if it made it across. Sometimes my eyes a jerk and it don't do it. All right, that's okay. I don't know why I made a song of that. That was weird. All right, so we're going to go to IKs and I'll grab the hip again and grab the ankle there. There we go. So and we're going to put sticky on. Yeah. Enable sticky on. Make sure it's on here. Sticky. Okay, cool. So what happens is the dog's all happy, his master's come in, he's killed tons of orcs, and he's really happy to see him. So if we go in here and we do a little rotation, you'll see we get that, that little wag that happens with the dog. As the animation is going down the tail, I'm not going to do the whole thing. But you can see you can actually get that extra movement out of the hips. See that right there? Just by putting that in there, and then you can FK the, the tail as you go. All right, well, that's about it with a wolf. I'm going to make another video. Um, this week, which is talking about the uh, more advanced quadruped, the six-legged creature, and we'll talk about some of the things that you run into with him and some of the issues. That's about it for this one.